In Photoshop, there's a very useful thing, which is the ability to create layer masks. So I will go to the marquee tool. I'll choose the rectangular marquee and I'll just draw a dotted area like that. And to make it a layer mask is very straightforward. I'll go to the layer panel right at the bottom and I'll click on the little camera button down here. This is the layer mask button. Click on that. And there is our layer mask. Now, if I undo that, you can see my dotted line, uh, my dotted rectangle is sort of in the middle. And if I do that again, there we go. If you look at the layer mask icon that appears to the right of the layer and the layers panel, you can see outside the dotted area in the layer mask, it's black. And inside the dotted area, it's white. And that basically means black blocks. So wherever the layer mask is black, it blocks the layer. And inside is white. It allows the layer to pass through. This layer mask is temporary, by the way. So if I hold the shift key down, I can click on the layer mask. It's disabled and the whole layer comes back. Uh, shift click on it again. And there we go. Very, very useful. Of course, we can make layer masks in all sorts of shapes and forms. This is a simple rectangle. I'll just undo that. Now we can do ovals, etc. But we can also do text. So under the text tool, there are four text tools, including two that are layer masks. And I'll choose the horizontal type mask tool. Now let's drop the selection first. I'll Command D or Control D. I'll now click in the middle. I'll type in a letter. Command or Control, hold that down. And I'm now going to make this nice and big. There we go. And up at the top, uh, I'll click on tick. And we will get a nice dotted area in the shape of the letter. And if I make that a layer mask, everything outside the text is blocked. Everything inside the dotted area is passed. This layer mask you can actually see as a black and white image if you hold the Alt or Option key down and click on it. And there we go. Now, I frequently call this a black and white image, but actually it's a grayscale image, except there's no gray here. So where it's black, the layer is disabled. Where it's white, the layer passes through. But if there was any gray, the pixels in the gray area would be opaque according to how dark the gray is. So the more dark, the more blocked or transparent it is, the more lighter the gray, the more the original pixels show through. And I'll click back now on our layer. And once we have the layer mask up, if I go at the bottom to the effects button, I can do things like drop shadow. There you go, you see, and let's choose a different color, a bit darker. So it works according to the mask, which is quite nice. I'll just do OK. If I click on the move tool and if I move this, You'll notice the effect and the mask and the, uh, the cutout move all as one. And that's because in the layers panel, the little chain button in between the two is on. If I click on that, it takes that off. And if I now click and drag, I'm now moving the picture because I've got the picture thumbnail selected. And if I click on the mask and I click and drag, I'm now moving the mask. And that's the basics of layer masks.